Hello friends. So let's welcome to all of you. So today we will start the AI interview questions, which is generally asked by the multiple companies and most important questions which can be asked to your interview. So today we will learn about the all interview questions and answers, which is generally asked by the most companies like Cilio, IBM, Cognizant, etc. If you are giving an interview for the ADI like electronic data interchange related profile, then this video this video will helpful to you for understanding and just getting the job selection in your career. Okay, so multi first of all, the question can be asked by the interviewer that briefly introduction about yourself. So first of all, you need to start from your name and professional and academic details as well. After that, you, you need to start your experience, like how much experience do you have and what are the skill set do you have and which of the tools you have work on and what is your major interest in that field for the career respective fields. Okay. Uh, so next question can be uh, asked by the interview. What is EDI mapping? So EDI mapping is a process of conversation in which EDI is translated into a format that is better used to in a new technical environment such as the ERP system. Suppose an EDI mapping is defined as a translation of the data structure uh, from a property files like in CSV format, text format, SAP, IDOX, ERP specific and, uh, and transaction sets as well to an EDI mapping standard format like the EDI pack, NCX12 and vice versa as well. So you can use and create the map for the EDI files which you are working on so that will be more helpful to you. So if you jump on the next question, so that would be what kind of transaction set you have worked on. So suppose interviewer will ask to use this question, then you can just explain like uh, what are the EDI transaction set which you have worked on, like multiple transaction setters working on the industry and which of the transactions that you have worked on, you can tell them. Okay, suppose if these are the most important uh, EDI transaction set which you can able to see over on the screen like 850 for the purchase order, 810 for the invoice, 830 for the planning schedule and release capability, 855 for the purchase order acknowledgement, 834 for the benefit endowment and maintenance, 856 for advanced shipping, shipping notice for EDI ASN as well, it's called the short form ASN, 860 for the purchase order change request and 997, this is for the functional acknowledgement. So these are the transactions that you, you can uh, provide and you can just, if you have just work on it, if you have knowledge all this, you can provide to that information. So next question, what is the EDA protocol like ES2, SFTP and FTP and VAN? So multiple EDA protocols are working and going on in the industry and you can put information like what you have knowledge regarding the EDA protocols. So an EDA protocol describes the defined exchange of the data between computers and it's used by the communication software applications suppose if you are just giving the answer of the as2 then what is the as2 as2 is the applicability statement 2 is the http based pro protocol to transmit transmit message especially edi message safely cheaply and quickly and reliable as well to establish an as2 connection you need to two computers a server and a client both connect to the internet via the point-to-point -point connection. In order to transmit the desired data, AS2 create an envelope that enables secure transmission via the internet using digital certificate and encryption as well. So next question can be asked like what is AS2 MDN? So MDN is a message disposition notification is an electronic, acknowledge, electronic acknowledgement of reception that is sent to the sender uh, via the AS2. Okay, after an electronic message has been sent to the receiver. Okay, and uh, so okay, once sender has sent an a, a, a file to the receiver, then the receiver can send the um, MDN message to the sender via the AS2. This acknowledgement of received confirm that the message has been transmitted successfully and completely to the receiver end. Okay, the MDN mainly check two things whether the AS2 transfer was successfully completed and second one is the, the message arrived at the desired recipient without change. Okay, so that is called the information most uh, important which is called the MDN. Okay, next version. 
So what is the total length of ISA header? This question can be asked to your interviewer like you can tell the 106 connector also available in the ISA header line. Okay, you can also count and this 106 will be there. Okay, next question. Uh, where you can see that sender ID and receiver ID? If someone is interviewer can ask this question to you and what is the sender ID and what is the receiver ID? Where you can see this information? In the interchange header, ISA 06 for the sender ID and IS08 for the receiver ID. You can see in the functional group, if you, want, if you want to see, then you can see the sender ID in the GS02 and receiver ID in the GS03. Next question, what tools you have worked on? So you can provide like whatever the tools you have worked on the benefit administrator tool like Salesforce, Clearinghouse and multiple tools are available like IBM Sterling tools, okay, uh, Talbumi, Seaburger, so multi uh, MuleSoft, so multiple tools are there in the industry for working on the EDI mapping and related to the EDI trans, uh, transformation rate of the data of the transaction side. Okay, so you can provide that information. Next question can be asked, what is the difference between SFTP and FTP? So this is very important questions and you need to be aware about these things and SFTP is the S, um, uses for a secure channel. Okay, to transfer the files while FTP doesn't. Okay, with the SFTP, your connection is always secure and the data that moves between your FTP clients and your web servers is encrypted. Okay, so that means SFTP is more secure and FTP don't have that security which provided by the SFTP. So because SFTP has a secure shells that uses for the encryption. What next question can be what is the composite element? And so answer you should give that a composite element is a data element that contains two or more composite data element or sub element as well. Composite uh, are defined by the EDI standard that use them EDI fact and contain NCX12 standard as well. Okay, a composite can occur once or, once or repeat multiple times. So next question, uh, what is the information used in ST and SE segment? So this is the very um, information question and you need to be answer this question very carefully because you need to be know about, about every segment, what is the meaning of that segment and what is the value are passing over on that segment. So let us start in the ST segment, identify the type of the document you are sending or receiving during the EDI transmission. Suppose you are working on the 834 file, then you can see the 834. If you are working on the 850 file, then you can see the transmission uh, site number is 850. This segment is the beginning of the document. Okay, suppose SE01. What is the meaning of SE01? In the first position of the SC segment, it's this is the end envelope, the number of included segment, and SC02, the transaction set control number. Suppose you can see over on this picture, here the SC, ST segment are there, and 270 the transaction set identifier group are represented this, and this is ST02, and this is represented the 0159, this is the transaction set control number. Okay, suppose it's, if we go jump to the SC and envelope for the ST. So SE segment represent the first SE01 number of included segment. Like 41 segments are there over on the file and uh, in the second SE02, it represent a transaction set control number. Okay, so next question can be, what is release indicator? A release indicator is a character that proceeds a data character that is the same to a transmitter, separator as well. For the purpose of the symbolic, the character, it proceeds, uh, proceeds to be data and not a terminator. Okay, what, a, what is SSL? SSL stands for the secure, secure socket layer. Okay, it's used to create the encryption link between the web server and web browser based on the HTTPS SSL certificate as my and file hashing. By using DIG AS2 has become the preferred EDI protocol. So these are the questions uh, which you can be asked by someone in the interview. So thank you friends. If you like my channel, please like and subscribe this video.